So with our writing lessons, we have been learning to use conjunctions to make our sentences longer and give them more detail. We've learned to use the word and, because, and today we're going to write a sentence with the conjunction but. And we're going to write a sentence about Pearl Barley and Charlie Parsley because we have been reading about them this week. My sentence is Pearl and Charlie are different, but they are really good friends. So our first word is Pearl, capital P because it's somebody's name and the beginning of a sentence. P E A R O Pearl finger space and a d pearl and charlie the friend is charlie capital c and h down halfway back up over the hill making the sound ch ch r a r which is our spelling diagram for this week. Pearl and Charlie. L I E. The next word is R. Pearl and Charlie R. There's that A R diagram again. A R E. Pearl and Charlie are different. Diff. D -d -d -d. I can hear a D. A circle. Stick up, stick down. D. I. The vowel is I. We need two Fs. Diff. That's the first clap. Second clap. Diff. Er. Er. E R. E R. Different. E -t. Pearl and Charlie are different, but there's that conjunction or that glue word, but finger space down halfway back up, big belly for b ah. But then, finger space, th, e, y. We need the word r again. We already know how to spell r. R, a r, e. Let's read our sentence quickly. Pearl and Charlie are different, but they are Really great friends. So really, er, I can hear it. Er, finger space down, up, over. E a, e, a, re, ooh, two l's. Real e. There's that y that sometimes makes an e sound. Pearl and Charlie are different, but they are really great. Finger space, G, a circle, and a monkey's tail. G -r. E A. What can you get at the end of great? Great. Great. Finger space, friends. Er. Now we have an I. Looks like fry. Friday. And then we have ends, it's like free ends or fry ends. Don't fry the ends of your friends. It's a very weird word. F R I E N D S. Full stop. Read it with me. After the bell. Pearl and Charlie are different, but they are really great friends. 
neatest writing, do it on a whiteboard or on your, um, in your booklet. And we can't wait to see how neat your writing is.